As CEO and Chairman of Saatchi and Saatchi Asia Pacific, Chris is based in Singapore. With more than two decades of experience in the advertising industry, Chris leads a team of a thousand people spanning 25 offices in 15 countries and regions. How do you put a price tag on creativity? As people and as businesses look to value creativity, they, you know, ROI is a key measure, right? So what's my return on investment in this return creativity? On creativity, right? Right. <laughs> I, I think it's actually more now as our as our industry evolves, it's about return on involvement. So how can we involve people in our messages, involve people in our brands, involve people in our services, so that they actually want to share those with others? Creating social currency is how you value that, right? So people want to share, people want to be part of your messages. You understand if there has been something that has changed significantly as a result. So it's not so much a one-for-one -one binary kind of return on creativity. It's now about that kind of involvement and that kind of sharing that we can create in the world. The traditional ways of large ad agencies are now facing an impending doom. So Saatchi and Saatchi China has designed a Monsters Attack campaign that will break through old ways with a monstrous, yet fun, way of rebranding themselves. Each of the management team has its own monster, named with one or two words that describe the employee's core competency. This one is for Chris. Massive is my one word equity, and it, it has allowed me basically to focus my entire career, my life, and what I think about in terms of how we approach business and communications. This guy, I think, could probably invade China and still be a success. I'm very fascinated by this concept that Sachi and Sachi really has pioneered and pushed forward these love mark ideas. But it seems to me that this, this love takes a long time. It's so what, what's very important is you connect to people with what they care about. I share my brands with my friends not because I like your brand, but because I like my friends. So it's very important to understand what's meaningful to them in their world and then create that brand relationship based on that. So when you create an emotional attachment, you can sustain a price premium. People can easily replace brands that they respect, but if you deprive them of a love mark, they will protest. Chris, let me close our conversation with a question about the future of advertising. Where do you see it going? We're in a world that is going to be a lot more collaborative, a lot more uh, integrated, uh, and a lot more about uh, content and ideas that people want to share. So you, we have to be developing ideas that are infectious by nature, that people find irresistible. And whether they're shared uh, you know, on the web, uh, in TV, in print, uh, through gaming, it, it's about that irresistible nature that lets people share and be part of your ideas. Uh, that's where I think advertising is going.